remember whose orientation is vertical so whereas if you take a look at hbox one dot add it's gonna put it here from left hbox one dot add the next one will be to the right and then we're gonna add uh, another, then we're gonna add our hbox one to our uh, vertical box which is which we called main box and main box is gonna add it vertically so if we say main box dot add h box one and then main box dot add h box two these two lines of code basically did basically added this horizontal box and then added this horizontal box h box two and then we're gonna do the rest for the same for the rest uh, we're gonna do the same for the rest of them so let me just copy and paste this four times so it's gonna be three four five six seven eight now at this point we still haven't added we still haven't added our JTEX area this thing because remember our JTEX area is not inside a horizontal box so this JTEX area is gonna be between horizontal box number eight and horizontal box number seven so let's do that main box dot add remember we're not gonna add our JTEX area itself we're gonna add the scroll pane that contains our JTEX area and that scroll pane we called it scroll pane and now we've added everything into one box but this box is still not inside our panel now we're gonna add this box which contains all of these horizontal boxes which contains all of our widgets to our panel add main box and we are done now now let's create a class that uh, hmm hold on one second guys um, okay I want to show you guys that this actually does run so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on over and right click to our controller package and select new class and we're gonna create the class we're gonna call it uh, library system this is gonna be our controller class this is where we're gonna put everything together and this is gonna be basically the back end of our project making everything work in the background showing our GUI manipulating our models no, everything all right let's create the constructor public library system screen equals new library interface I call it uh, and uh, which uh, um, <laughs> I forgot to uh, I forgot that we uh, actually need to create the library interface class first and the library interface class is also going to be inside our view class so go on over to your view package and select new class now what this what this library interface is for is it's basically gonna put together our the panels that we make because remember we have two panels one two and we need to put them together in a J frame so this library 
interface will be our JFrame. And we're going to put our panels, panel, add book panel, and browse library panel, which, by the way, we still haven't created. We're going to put that inside our library interface, which will be our JFrame, which will have a J tab pane. And I know it doesn't make sense right now, but once we're done making the complete GUI, it'll all, all the pieces will fit together and I won't sound like a crazy person anymore. So for now, create this class. All right. This is going to extend JFrame. Remember, JFrame is the root frame. This is where we're going to put our panel, our two panels. So far, we only created, we've only created our first panel. We're going to create the second panel later. But for now, we just want to see that, you know, we just want to see that it actually is uh, working. So extends JFrame, import JFrame from Java Swing. Again, with the uh, serial version ID. So I'm going to delete this because I'm OCD. I just, uh, oh, I rhymed there. Pretty cool. And we're going to create a an add book panel object. So add book panel, the class that we just created object and we're going to call it add book panel ABP we also need a uh, jtab pane we're going to call it JTB and we're going to uh, we're going to need well we don't need it but we're going to put it here string filler and I'm going to show you what this filler is in just a second. Now let's create the uh, constructor for our library interface. It's going to take in a title, the title of uh, whatever we're going to pass in. It's going to call, again, because this is extending JFrame, it's going to have to call super, the super method. And uh, I apologize if I didn't explain to you guys what this super is in my uh, previous videos. Basically what this super is, is the uh, constructor for the super class. It's the constructor for the JFrame. So this is equivalent to... This equals new JFrame. This is equivalent to that. The super again is this constructor for the JFrame. Anyways, let us instantiate our uh, initiate our widgets in uh, in inside our inside our constructor. And we don't need to do this. We don't need to create a uh, init widgets method to initialize the widgets because inside this library interface, we're only going to have three widgets so really why not you know just do it here at the moment we have a jtab pane jtb we're going to set that equal to a new jtab pane we have our uh, abp widget which we created ourselves we're going to set that to a new add book panel 